Hi everybody, it's Crystal, your favorite hey. yarn junkie. And hey, Mr. Bod this time. Yeah, Mr. Bod, which stands for Mr. Bag of a Day. He decided he would join me on a yarn unboxing because I told him that I probably wouldn't be able to pronounce a lot of words on the yarn um, this time around, and he decided he would. I'll attempt it. I'm not. He'll I'm not saying I'll be able to, but I'll try. So I was online the other day. Uh, I always try to look for new yarn companies to uh, tell people about. You know. Um, that I've never, you know, and I always like to purchase yarn from a yarn company that I never purchased before. Well, I was looking online and I found this yarn company called www.vilrita, V I L R I T I dot com. R I T A. V V I L R I T A. Velrita. 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 Good thing you're here, Mr. Bond. It's a good thing. <laughs> Anyways, so. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about them. Now they are based in Lithuania. Lith Lithuania, okay. And um, can you scroll? You can scroll here a little bit. Now they shipped, and I have two separate boxes, so they shipped in a box. I purchased this on September twenty second. They shipped it on September twenty second. It's now September twenty sixth at my house. Four days. Nice. Quick. Lithuania, I don't know how far that is, how far away that is, I mean, but that's pretty far. That's quick. They shipped it FedEx. It's super quick. And I mean, I can't even get it from Michaels and Joann's that fast when I order from them. It's usually so, like a week or so, is it? Sometimes it's two weeks. It just mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was fast shipping. Now they do use the Euro in Lithu Lithuania. Lithuania and um but I will tell you the uh they have the site set up where you can switch it over to US dollars too. I'm not sure what other companies they ship to. I believe there are more. You can check their site below. Now I'm not affiliated with them, but uh, I will put a link You're to, gonna have to cut it, I'm sure. the site below. I don't want to cut the invoice in case it has the prices on it. Let's set it down here. I do have two boxes. It's well packaged. It's yarn um, that you can't get uh, at big box stores here in the States. So, um, I always like to get yarns like that. Yarns like Naco, I think I pronounced that one right. Um, and some that I won't be able to pronounce. Most definitely. Because if you watch my channel, I can't pronounce anything correctly. <laughs> Can I? I mean, I don't mean Sometimes. to. It's just I'm not, I'm just not good at pronouncing words. I can admit it. It's fine. I love words, so I enjoy helping you. I don't love tape. I'll say I don't love tape. They packed it good. Good job on the packing. Thank yeah. you. I always like it when they ship in boxes. It's in a box and a bag. Box and a bag. Especially if they're shipping from another country. But I even like it when Michael ships in a box. It smells plasticky, though. From here. Okay. All righty. This is the first look. You ready? Yep, let's do it. I get to look first, too. Hey, did you get the packing slip? It's right here. <laughs> Ooh. So I've had one out of all these yarns. I've had one of them before, and I gave it away in a giveaway. One? Yeah, and I never, away. never got to use it. Which I will give some of this away in a giveaway, also. Okay. So okay, this gives prices. Yeah. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. No, I'm smiling this? because you were getting so excited about the prices. Oh, there. that's a customs form. Okay, I can't believe how fast I got here. I mean, that's it's sm really fast. smoking fast from another country. All right, let's let's look. This was probably my favorite. I got several colors of it. Let's set it down. Alize. Is that how you saw it? Uh, Alize. I what? would say it like that. I would say Elise. 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 I don't know how you say it, but. It's one of those. Now, per perhaps you guys, I opened this one time. I bought it from another country. I can't remember. It's been a while. Uh, I bought it from Russia one time. Um, and that was the only time I have ever used this brand. It was this this one right here. Um, this is their... Uh, Batik? Burkham? Burkham Batik? 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 100% acrylic. That is pretty. And it feels like 
Hobby Lobby I Love This Yarn. It's a four weight yarn. It's very, very pretty. Now these are, um, just one second here. Okay, so we stopped and we got the price of, um, uh, this is... The Alizé Berkham Batik. Batik, Batik. It's $2.44 a ball. That is pretty. Look at that. I think it's pretty. Um, so like I said, it's 100% acrylic, 100 grams, 3.53 ounces, 210 meters slash 230 yards. So and it is, it says to hand wash, but it is 100% acrylic and do not put in a dryer. Um, that's their recommendation. That would be mine too on anything. I always hand wash what I make, but. Probably get real fluffy or something. Will it uh, felt? No, it's just acrylic. A lot of people hand, or machine wash acrylic, but I, whatever you want to do with it. I mean, that's just their recommendation. So, so that's what it is. We you unplug that little fridge? Little fridge in here. Two forty-four dollars a, uh, a ball. That's pretty cheap. I mean, I don't think it's a bad price. 230 yards. It's beautiful. Made in Turkey. The color is, um, I don't know. It just has a number, doesn't it? Yeah. What's the number on that one? Four six eight four two six five. Yeah, I think it's four six eight four is the color of this one. Very pretty. Teals, greens, grass greens, browns. Kind of pinkish color. A little bit of a light pink in there. Looks like. That's brown. That's brown. Looks a little bit like a pinkish brown. I guess everybody sees color differently. Uh, I said I mentioned that. People see color differently. So that is nice. Now, um, I think I have, wait a minute, more colors of that that I did buy because I liked it. So, I got it in this color also. It's kind of folly, isn't it? That's very folly. That is pretty. That is color number 3379. Yeah, Beautiful. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're all the same. Oh, there's the other one. So they match the color a lot for you. Nice. Huh? So they match the dye lot. Looks like they got the, all the dye lots patched. I don't do dye lots, but some people do. But yeah, they matched them up. Nice. That's really folly. Yeah. I like it. Cool. Which one do you have? Oh, those, yeah. I bought quite a few of this color, or this yarn, because I remember getting it one time and I liked it. And, but I, I gave it away. This one's really pretty too. Browns yeah, and like purples and gold there. and blue. Beautiful. Color six five three four. Beautiful, beautiful. Tell them how pretty it is, Mr. Bod. It's super pretty. That's really pretty. The colors, it. it's very well saturated. And like I said, it's similar to um, Hobby Lobby, I Love the Shard, or Red Heart with Love, something like that. How much are those? Hobby Lobby, like. Hobby Lobby is. These are 244, right? These are 244 um, for 230 yards. Uh, Hobby Lobby is, is four ninety nine, but uh, I do believe they have a little bit more yardage, closer to three hundred. I can't remember. But not I, double. No, not double. Definitely not double. Um, do I have another color? Then Red Heart now. It's about three dollars for. A Red Heart's close to three fifty now. I think three thirty maybe oh. or three fifty, but it it has three hundred and thirty or forty yards in it. So I don't know. That's, but this is a something, you know, it's pretty. Well, their variegateds have less yardage, so you could take that in consideration. I don't know if this is a variegated or a striped. I'll have to work with it, but it's very pretty. I'm thinking um, hat and um, scarf set for fall. Fall. Look for it. Definitely fall. Coming up. Look for it. Okay, this is something I thought was interesting. Um, now, this brand, how would you say it? Nako? Nako. Yeah. Nako. Nako. Now, I don't know if I've had this brand before. If I have, I can't remember. I've had a lot of yarn run through my fingers, but it's not one that I remember ever having. Maybe once. I probably gave it away if I had it. Angora Lux Colors. That is pretty. Now, at the time, they didn't have a lot of colors to choose from on their site, but you can see the Angora there in it. Let's read about it. Is this the Angora on her? It's uh, um, Angora, yeah. Let's read it. It might be in another What's language. What's Lux mean? L-U-K-S. What does that mean? Lux. Just type of yarn it is, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really mean anything. It's just a name, I think. I see. 
It's 5% mohair, 15% wool, 80% acrylic. So, um, this is some, like I said, sometimes they write it in another language. Made in Turkey. Um, 150 grams. 150 grams. 810 meters. Is that meters? 810 meters. So over uh, probably about 900 yards would be my guess. Pretty close to it. And it says uh, machine wash but lay flat to dry. One shawl or one ball will make a shawl. And oh. it is a lightweight yarn. I would classify it between a. It's probably a. Two weight, probably a lighter two weight, but yes, it's very pretty. I think the colors are really uh Halloween y. What do you think? Yeah, Halloween kind of show, too. kind of folly, yeah, kind of reminds me a bit of candy corn, candy chocolate corn. candy corn, yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. So, this one is uh the Nako. You should look them up for me. I should look them up for you while I'm going. So, yeah, let's see. right there, there's Nako and Gora Lux colors. I'm gonna use you right there. I must have it at somewhere else. On here. This is your job, Mr. Bond. This is my job. Right here. What? 580. That's it? That's it. 580. That's a deal. Is it similar to a shawl on the ball? Is a shawl on the ball no, two this is, No, no. It's, shawl on the ball is supposed to be a four, but it's actually not really a four. Oh, but I see. That's that's really a good deal. I was expecting it to be like ten bucks, but yes, that's really a good deal for that. And that would make a gorgeous shawl, especially since it has that mohair and gore stuff in it. Mm -hmm. The fiber content. That's that's a killer deal. I they didn't like I said they didn't have any colors left. That's probably why that's probably why. But I'm sure they'll restock. I like that one a lot. You wanna show this one now? Yeah. Oh, this oh, is the same so thing. Another, this is a different color. color. This is the other color that they had. Oh, it looks fluffier. Maybe it's just wild. So this is the same. It's very pretty. Um, Mr. Bond. Am I messing it up? No. I'm just trying to get the right colors. It's looking about the same. Very pretty. So it's kind of like, uh, what would you call that? I'd call that uh, mauves and grays and pinks yeah, and pinkish, coral. Like, uh, coral. Almost a... Uh, Getting almost to brown in the middle, brownish red. Corals. Yeah. There we go. That's nice. That's pretty. I like it. And it's, it it's, make, it would uh, make a good shawl for Scarfable. You can make a scarf out of it, definitely. Even though it has that mohair and gore in it, it, it doesn't feel like it would itch you at all. So, uh, yeah, what did you say it was? 580. You sure? That just seems weird. Right yeah. Well, it's 399. 580. Yeah, 499. How much yeah. is it? And for almost 900 yards, I like that. I like that. I like both of them, but for some reason, I really like that black, orange, and yellow one. That one's pretty. Okay, let's move on so we don't have a what long video. Neko Super Inca. Hit, hit, hit. Hit your car. Yeah, there it is. 278. 278 a ball. This is this is what you say, it, Mr. Bond. Neko. Let me get it up where they can see it. There we go. I can't even see it. It's backwards. Nako Super Inchi Inchi Hit Jakar. I hope that's how you say it. I'm not sure. So this I can tell probably has wool in it. Yes, I can smell it. Okay, so it's 25% wool, 75% premium acrylic. It is scarfable. That's my term for you can wear it against your skin. Make a scarf out of it. It wouldn't bother you at all. Um, this is the type that uh, would probably be best maybe for knitters because it does form a pattern as you go. I find that's hard for crocheters to achieve. Well, it is for me anyways. But you could still have a go at it and just, if you don't mind, an unorthodox pattern of design. Um, it is machine wash, lay flat to dry, 100 grams, 180 meters, so a little over yeah, close to 200 yards. For how much did we say it was? It was 278. 278. See where it's made in Turkey. Good deal. I like it. So What's the, uh, color, the color is 811. 81181. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that the color? Rink? Rink? I'm not sure. 81181. So that's the color of that one. And then we have. This is 
That one. Alize Berkham Classic. Alize. I say Elise. Elise. I am not saying it right. I don't know if it's correct or 231? not. 231. Plum. 231. The color is called Plum. A very appropriate color, I would definitely say. What, what is that mean? Or am I? It's another language. There you go. Um, so 100% acrylic. It's it's a very soft acrylic. Um, better than Hobby Lobby. Better than Red Heart. Um, better than most regular four weights. It's uh, I would have to say it would be similar to maybe something that you felt in the U.S. Um, mm, it's hard to say. Maybe uh, if you felt uh, Stitch Studio by Nicole, she has kind of a, a nice soft acrylic. Um, feels kind of similar like that. Maybe Joanne's acrylic is, is pretty soft, but I don't know. It feels similar to that. It says it's four weight, and yes, it's a, not, it's a thicker four weight, but it is a four weight yarn. Um, did we go over it all? Oh, yeah, there's 230 yards, 100% acrylic, hand wash, and lay flat. What did you, you say it cost? It is two thirty one. Two thirty one for two hundred and thirty yards. Penny a yard. It's pretty. You should, I write, like you it. should write a book about yarn. You think? Yeah. Nah. I would read it. You'd read it? I would read it, yeah. Oh, it's pretty. This one's pretty. This is the Alize Cotton Gold Tweed. Alize, I guess if I'm saying that. Cotton Gold Tweed. 348. Ooh, I love my gold. Sand Flex. That's got the best of two worlds right there. Other than it being not a four weight, I can tell it's thin. I don't like to use anything too thin, but. Let's read about it. 57% uh, cotton, 40% acrylic, and 30% polyester, which is the flex that you see in it. It says to hand wash and uh, lay flat. Cotton gold tweed is the color. No, it's not. That's the name. Color 02. Do, um, do you like flex because they remind you of sweet sprinkles? Could be. Could be. I like flex yarn mm -hmm. and sprinkle cakes and cookies, mm -hmm. and muffins, yeah, you know, huh? cupcakes. <laughs> a hundred grams, uh, three point five three ounces. Yes, donuts definitely. Three hundred and thirty meters or two hundred and sixty one yards. Three sixty one. Three sixty one. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here. I'm not flubbing up. I think you're making me nervous. Oh, I'm sorry. There. Uh, 360, 361 yards, and it's made in Turkey, and I would consider it a, a solid three-weight. Uh, right on, uh, spot on three-weight. And what'd you say it was again? It is 348. Scarf, a Wait, yeah, cotton gold tweed, right? Mustard. Mustard. Oh, that's, it. the color is mustard. Yeah. Yes, very, very pretty. It's scarf -able. You know, you can tell that there's cotton in it. It's pretty. I like it. I think it's a good deal. What'd you say again? 348. I have a short term memory loss. 348 for 361 yards, less than penny a yard, but that is for a three weight sprinkled yarn. Sprinkles. This stuff is pretty too. Oh, this is Elena. Gato. Lana Gato. Everest. Lana Gato. Everest. And I've never had any. Taylor's wool in it. 313. 313 a ball. Let's read about it. Made in Italy. Color 96 or 6966. Okay. Made in Italy. There's 50 grams, 100 meters, 109 yards. Hand wash, lay flat. Let's check out the fiber content. 95% wool, so and 5% viscose. Viscose is the sprinkles that you see in it. Um, so this I would consider a, a four weight, spot on four weight. Very pretty. It is a 100% wool, but it's still not uh, itchy. You, I would wear a scarf out of it. 
Yeah, it's not bad. Is that the wool, the little, or is that just something It's woven just in uh, decorations, just I think. Decorations. Yeah. But it does have the multicolored sparkles in it also. That's pretty. I like it. What do you got for me next? I got... Oh, I got... There's another one. Another Angora Lux color. Oh, I must have got two of those. But we showed, we showed the pink Same one. Same color. So cool well, one. we know one of these is going in a giveaway. I guess I can't use maybe <laughs> both of them. Here's another color. Of the Berkham Batik. Oh, this Rainbow. is the first one I showed you. That is so pretty. Rainbow Remember the this one in the beginning? What was it? Two uh, Berkham Batik. Berkham Batik. Two forty-eight. Two forty-four. Two forty-four. That's yeah. so pretty. I had to get the rainbow one. Color number three five one four. Beautiful yarn. There you go. Beautiful yarn for a beautiful wife. Ah, thanks, babe. Yes, so sweet. Sometimes, huh? Sometimes. Okay, so this is the uh, the same as this Elise. Just not tweed. How do you spell it? Alize. Alize. I don't know if I'm saying it right. This is the cotton gold, but it doesn't have the tweed flex in it, so you can see the difference. It's still mustard. Color. But everything else is the same. But everything is pretty close to the same, other than the flex. Um, yardage is all the same. This one's 348 and this was 314. So just about the same. Okay, Nico Boho. Uh, Nico Boho. I love the color of this one. It's got wool, I can tell. Nico 441. Boho 441. A bulb. Look at the colors in that one. It's got the washed look to it. Oh, that's pretty. Now. Uh, this one. What? Uh, I love your excitement. It's awesome. This is lightweight though. Now this I would consider a two weight. It's seventy five percent wool, twenty five percent polymine. Um, color number uh, three one nine one nine. Um, says you can wash on cold, lay flat. 100 grams, 400 meters, so probably 450 yards, but you have to keep in mind it is a lightweight yarn. It might be in between a two and a three. Man, that is pretty stuff. That would make a beautiful shawl. Um, now it does, you can feel the wool in this one. Uh, yeah. I would probably recommend maybe a shawl or a hat or a sweater that you're going to wear a t-shirt underneath with this one. But it's gorgeous nonetheless. I love that one. That's the Nako Boho. So you think it might be a little itchy? Not really itchy. Just feeling. A abrasive a little bit? I think it would just be a, maybe just a, a tea tad abrasive mm -hmm. on, on your skin. So I wouldn't consider it scarfable. But definitely hat making material or sweater or shawl. Something that you're going to have um, clothing on. Underneath clothing on. Uh, hair underneath. Yeah. Okay. Want this one now? No, no, I got more. I got more baby cakes. He's new to the unboxing. He doesn't know what to do. I'm not new. Alize Diva Ombre Batik. I've always wanted this. I've seen it so many times, like in shops from other countries and stuff, but I've never bought it. Ooh. That's a very, very nice um, ombre. Um, one of the nicest ones that I've seen. Um, you really can't get an ombre nicer in the U.S. other than, I mean, from the U.S. stores, in my opinion, at big box stores, other than Red Heart um, Super Saver Ombre. But there will be a better ombre, the best you've ever seen, soon. Um, but this one is really, that you'll be able to get in the U.S. But this one is really nice. Um, I heard that too. Outside or like outside the of the U.S. Sheen to it, like the it does have a nice. Uh, if you guys effect. can't see it, it does have a nice shine on it, kind of like Caron Simply Soft. Sil silky effect. Oh, silky effect, it's called. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it does have a very pretty shine on it. It's a very lightweight. I consider it a one. Um, it would make a very very beautiful shawl. That's nice. That was the first thing I noticed was the shine. Um. This is 250 grams, 8.82 ounces, 875 meters, or 957 yards. 
So you got about a thousand yards uh, of a lightweight one, I'm gonna say, um, and hand wash, lay flat, 100% a microfiber acrylic. For $8.08. $8.08. .08. $8 .08. Now, if you wanted to compare this to something in the States, well, I guess, uh, can't really compare it to, um, I guess you can compare it to things like the Shipji Swirls or whatever, kind of similar. Those are like, what? $25, $30 a piece. This is way cheaper. The ombre effect on this is magnificent. Very, very beautiful. You, you mean wanna... the silky effect? Ombre, how it goes from light to dark so gradual oh, that you I can't see. even see a change in color. I see. That's what you want with nice. an ombre. It's smooth. Very, very That's hard good. to find yarns like that, in my opinion. Um, this one, the, the transition is almost not even visible. It's beautiful. Uh, and then yeah that's that's pretty and i like to shine on it it's almost like a mercerized look looking yarn but it's not cotton it's acrylic anyways how much was it 808 808 that's a good deal okay and then i've seen this one a gazillion times too but I never bought it alizé angora gold ombre batik so you can see that it's uh Angora, let's look at it. The ombre effect again on this is remarkable, beautiful. You will not be able to tell a distinct uh, difference between if you're crocheting with it, where the color transi transitions, there will be no breaks of whatsoever. I mean, it's so pretty. Um, it's 150 grams, 5.29 ounces, 125 meters or 902 yards. So you got about 900 yards. And it's 80% um, acrylic, 20% wool, hand wash, lay flat, made in uh, Turkey, I would imagine. Yes, the same as this one. $5.23. $5.23. It's the gold ombre boutique, right? Yeah. $5.23. Wow, just... that's remarkable. I'm in awe at the price. And the ombre. And the, how the effects of these ombres are so pretty. I, I love ombre, but it's hard to find a good, good ombre effect in the States. I like that for effect. For now. I like that effect in a haircut. Why? When you transition from short hair to tall you hair mean, on the top for a fade. Well, people, you don't want to see the lines. You want it to be smooth. Just people like, dye like their hair describing. ombre. Hmm. Hey, have we done these? No. Oh, okay. What's this one? I just opened them for you. Ooh, Rust, my favorite. Alpaca Royal. Royale. Al Royal. Say the name again. Oh, Alizé. Alizé. Alpaca. Alpaca Royal. So, it is have a, it does have alpaca in it, but I would consider it scarfable too. It is a uh, four weight yarn. Um, a little on the thicker side of a four weight. 55 acrylic, 30 apaca, and 15% wool, hand wash, lay flat, of course. And it is 100 grams, 3.5, 3 ounces, 250 meters, or 273 yards. How much? $3.48. $3.48 cents of for 273 yards of a... Um, almost, uh, it's a alpaca wool acrylic blend less acrylic that's a good deal um it's th it's like i said it's a thicker four weight yarn in my opinion but it's still nice that's pretty it's scarf it'll work out faster it, it's scarfable yeah, yeah it's what's thicker. the color i mean it's it's four way it's just on the thicker it side it is terra terra terracotta it's beautiful a little bit darker than i like that one isn't it i like that one Nothing beats the smell of wool. This other one is just another color of your, uh, of the NC yarn or inchy Jafar. No. Oh, yeah. it's like the blue Yeah. that we showed earlier, but this one Pink. is called color number 81183. So it's the one that makes the designs in it. And it was 278. 278. So there's two colors. And that was it for that box. Ooh, what's in the other box, Mr. Bowen? What's in the box? So.
you do have to pay shipping here and it depends on what how much you buy what your shipping is but I'll tell you what I paid and it's for two boxes that they shipped to me yeah and I can tell you size. I can tell you for me shipping I've shipped to multiple countries that the shipping is going to seem high to you but it seems extremely cheap to me so, <laughs> So, uh, because I know what shipping is to other countries, and it's not cheap, especially for two boxes. And it was really quick, like four days. Yep. All right. Okay. Oh, I have had this one before. Oh, it's already open on this one. Oh, I got this from, um, Hobie and used to sell this. They don't sell it anymore. I like it. Cartopu? I never had this color. Is it uh, Cartopu Cream Relaxe. It's a chain spun, um, wool blend. 100 grams, 250 meters, 50% 50 acrylic, 50% uh, wool, no, 34% wool, 16% polyamide. Um, I'm gonna, I classify it, I used to classify that at a bulky five myself or a thicker four chain spun, like I said. Soft stretched wool, definitely scarfable, very, very pretty color. Look at the blues and it goes to browns, that's gorgeous. How much? Three dollars and ninety-five cents. Three ninety-five. That's cheaper than what I paid for it at Hobium. I think it was close to five bucks a ball at Hobium. And it's chain spun, you said? Yeah, it's I chain spun. Cool. I like chain spun. It's my second favorite to roving. Um, very nice. I'm I'm, it's, I'm gonna guess that it's made in Turkey. It's gonna be my my guess. Probably is. Kartofu is probably made in Turkey. Um, hand hand. No, uh, you can machine wash and lay flat to dry. Beautiful color. What's the color number? CPK0003, is that right? That's right. That's a beautiful, beautiful browns and blues together. I like brown and blue together, though. I think that's beautiful. So that's the Kramer Lux. This smells like a fiber factory. It looks like it has wool in it to me. Okay, so this is Naco Super, Super Lamb, Lamb Special. 313. 313. Now, if you look close, you can see that there are multiple. You can see some orange and stuff in there. You see that? Tiny little. Um, it is. Huh? The color is 235. 23520. Um, 100 grams, 200 meters. So, 220, 25 yards. Um, how much? It's a medium weight number four on the thicker uh, side of a four. 49 wool, 51 premium acrylic. I, um, and it was $3.13. So it's scarfable. What? 313. 313 a Not bad for the content. I like it. It's a pretty color. I like those colors though. I don't know. I've just got this thing for the greens that look like this and the golds and the rusties and the brownies. Woo! This screams probably the brownies the most. This screams bag of day. Definitely. Any day. Oh, yeah, so does every, every, every color that she gets. Screams this bag screams of bag of day. Now that is fall. This is more of the. Uh, it's it's brighter oranges and stuff, doesn't it? Yeah. And, and a little bit more uh, vibrant yellow. What what uh? Say it again. Oh, uh, Alize. Alize. I only know because of Tupac. Because he has a song that says Alize. Oh, this has the green. Oh, this has the, the green in it. It has the yellow in it. It has the rust in it. It has the brown in it, and it has some cream in it. This, is, I'm using this color first. How much were these pieces? Uh, what was it the Burkham Boutique? Let me find those again. I thought they were three forty, two forty four. Hmm. Two forty four. Two forty four. Yeah. That is. Um, I'm gonna put this as my favorite so far. What's the color on that one? Oh, the color number is 6060. Six zero. Zero. So far, my favorite because it's my color. My color! Oh, pretty. Okay, let's check these out. Some a little different. Okay, Naco Calico Jacquard. Jacquard? Naco Calico Jacquard. It's very, it's soft and uh, a little, it's not shiny or silky, but it feels a little silky. And I'm, let's see what it is. 50% cotton and 50% premium acrylic. Now that is a very, very nice cotton acrylic blend. Probably one of the better ones that I've felt. 
Um, it does though appear to be about a three weight yarn. Not my fave to work with, but if the yarn's pretty enough, I will do it. It does have a washed look to it, as you can see. Um, and that is how it knits up, I guess. You can make a pattern or not make a pattern. I'm not sure. I'd have to look into that. It's pretty colors, though. Um, 100 grams, 245 meters. So, give me a guess. I'm at 270 yards, probably. $3.48. $3.48. That's uh, a nice, like I said, that's a nice cotton acrylic blend. Very pretty colors on that one. Color number 31538, in case I probably mentioned it a hundred times. Made in Turkey. I like it. That's nice. Very sparkle on that one. Yes, definitely. That's a nice yarn. This reminds me of something you have somewhere. Right over there, maybe? No, yes, it's that's not, though. Similar. Okay, this is classic Alize. Alize Elena Gold. So, okay, this is. Um, Did you you told the color number of the last one, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. This is forty nine percent wool and fifty one percent acrylic. So right off, you can tell there's wool in it. You can smell the wool in it. Now this is not going to be. I wouldn't rec call it scarfable. I would make something on the lines of the sweater or something that you're gonna wear something over, hat, something. I don't know. Well, once just, you're gonna wear something under. Uh, some, something you're gonna wear something under. Like she has a sweater on with a shirt underneath it. So, I mean, it's not it's super stiff or anything, but it is not as soft as uh, other wools that, that I've felt before. But it does have a tweed effect to it, as you can see. And it is a thicker four weight yarn. Did I go over over everything then? Enjoy the comfort of wool blends. It's not a bad yarn. Color Two, 903. Color 903. Um, 262 yards, 3.53 uh, ounces made in Turkey. $2.90. $2.90. I think that's a good deal. That's a pretty color. I'll probably make some hats for Hat Not Hate out of that, definitely. Because I think it's hatable. And, um, Hatable. That's a new word. Hatable. Sweaterable. No. Lovable. <laughs> Sockable. I like it. It's 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 nice. It's not. It's a good price too. Ooh. Classic. Elise, right? Alize. Alize. What? Lena Gold Plus. I love me some bulky yarn. That's my favorite. In case you didn't know. And it's gold, which happens to be one of my favorites too. Okay, so this is, I would consider it a, a thicker, bulky 5 yarn. There are 100 grams, 3.53 ounces, 140 meters, 153 yards, made in Turkey. Let's see what it's made of. 51 acrylic, 49 wool. I would consider it scarfable. I would make, I would wear it as a scarf. You find I'm it? I don't see any. I, it must be the same price as the other. Lena Gold Plus. I don't see the price. Look it up. We gotta get it right. We gotta get it right. I see some pretty ones on there. We're almost done. Lena Gold Classic. Lena Gold Plus. Classic Plus. Lena Gold Classic Plus. No results. It's just Lena Gold Classic. Okay. Two ninety. Two ninety. Yep. Same price. Okay. Beautiful. I like it. Okay, here's the baby. Ooh, that's soft too. Elise. Alize. Alize, baby best anti peeling acrylic. That's soft. This is a 90% anti peeling acrylic, 10% bamboo. Nice. Very, very scarfable. Very nice. That would have a. Uh, no. Uh -uh. Just a regular? Baby's two, best. 255. 255 a ball, and that's for 95% premium acrylic, 10% bamboo, and there are um, 100 grams, 3.53 ounces, 240 meters, 262 yards. Nice, baby's best. Very scarfable, very blanketable, blanketable, baby sweaterable, baby whateverable. <laughs> it's nice. It's pretty. I like that. Main turkey. Very, very pretty.
Oh, oh, washing instructions. People like to know. Did I say that? Hand wash, lay flat. Lena gotta. You know I can't say that. Arco Beleno. Arco Beleno. Beleno. Okay, so this feels like a regular bore weight. I would consider it to be similar to in the States. Red Heart would love, but maybe something like that. Um, and it is 50 grams, 133 meters, or 145 yards. Dollar seventy-four. Huh? For $1.74. Dollar seventy-four. $1.74. 170 or 145 yards so it's probably it's a four weight it's probably comparable to red heart with love as far as yards versus price what's your color number color number eight three seven three one hundred percent acrylic made in macedonia macedonia Let's see this is same same stuff eight three six six color and then this one is eight three seven six Yes. Same, same thing. Like I said, Red Heart with Love, similar to that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, now I'm saving the best for last, I think, so. There's Let's more in here. I, I know. These are these are the ones. Oh, I took those them out. are the ones that you think are the best? I think so. I mean, you might have a difference in Not on, that I think they're the on best. The best. I think they look the coolest. There's some. Elise, uh, Alize. Alize, I'm never gonna get it right. Alize. Baby wool. Ooh, it's soft too. Is it ever baby whatever you want to make? Is it batik or just wool? Batik, wool and bamboo. Is that what it says? One ninety-seven. Alize, baby wool. Wool and bamboo. Oh, it's baby, baby, baby wool down here. Okay, okay. Let's look at it. Dollar ninety-seven, and there are. It's hand wash, lay flat, of course. 50 cotton candy. 50% wool, 20, 40% acrylic, and 20% bamboo. That's a nice mix of fibers, actually. Um, that's an adorable sweater on the front, I must add, even though it is knitted. The collars that uh, appear to be, it's a striped, looks like it's a striped yarn. I'm gonna look here in the, in the pink, it's got like a little bit of purple mixed in it. Yeah. Little dots of different colors here and there. Mm -hmm. It's nice and soft though. Mm, that's pretty. But lightweight, very lightweight. How much did you say it was? It is a dollar ninety-seven. Two weight, two weight, dollar ninety-seven, and um, yardage. I don't get. I get all confused. One hundred ninety-two yards. One hundred ninety-two yards for it, for each of these. Color is six five five zero. Six five five zero for the cotton candy looking color. Okay, what's this? That is one that came with it. All right, so if you're not familiar with this, this is, um, it's kind of like the hobby twisters and stuff like that. It is it is a number one weight. It does have, um, it's a thicker one though, but it does have a center pool. These are very pretty, uh, very sparkly. Um, I bought all mine that I have on my shelf from Hobium, um, and I paid $16 a piece for those. $16 at Hobium. Here they are. 1162 11 a piece so that's uh you know almost five dollars cheaper right four dollars cheaper no five dollars cheaper four dollars between four and five dollars cheaper and um yes beautiful shawls can be made out of this and there's um over a thousand yards here it's a cotton acrylic blend with a sparkly metallic very pretty and that's a lot cheaper than um opium i must say must you Oh, I seen this. I thought the color on this Woo. was pretty. What, what noise did you make earlier? Woo. I should have got two of these. I like that. That's cool. It reminds me of one of those dogs. I like those the, puppies. I like the color. Okay, Elena Gatto Olympic, made in Italy. Now this reminds me a little bit of um, a lot of um, Lion Brand um, homespun, mm. and so you can see the way. That looks there. So this is yarn is not going to be for everybody, but I don't mind this type of yarn. I think the red and the black is gorgeous. I wish I would have got two of those. Um, First thing that comes to my mind is a beard. It is a beard. Just crochet beard. That is a very very pretty color. Color number eight four five zero. What was it called again? Lena Gata. Um, sixty five acrylic, twenty percent wool, fifteen percent nylon, hand wash. No dry, 180 yards. 1105. 
Olympic? Made in Italy, 11.05 for that. And I would, you know, say that it's very similar to homespun. I classify that as probably bulky five. I think that's what homespun is. That's pretty. Ooh. I'm going to have to get another of that color. I thought it had more yardage than that, but that's very pretty. It does kind of remind you of a dog, don't it? Like One of those little, uh, is it a Scottish, 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 Scottish Terrier? A little Scotty, Scottish Terrier. Is that what maybe. The, the little kind of curly because, dogs that are, And then yeah. maybe he's wearing a red band, red checkered bandana. Mm -hmm. It definitely it, it does. Me of that. That's what it reminds me of too. I like it. Oh, it's scarfable too. Maybe I'll make Clark a bandana. Yeah. He rip it up. Maybe not. He's he's styling and profiling. Oh, this is a he's styling and profiling until he rips it off. <laughs> this is another one of these. Um, I say it. Uh, Alize. Alize and Gore Gold ombres so i have a brown and a blue one do you remember those very very pretty oh my goodness oh is ooh. this the last one? Ooh, i almost messed up your label this will, don't rip up my I label know. i can't stand rip labels the grounds for divorce is this the last one yes okay last one boom what you think about that one thinking it is it's a chenille type yarn mm. Very, very soft, like uh, very gorgeous. Again, ombre effect. Yeah. Effect on that is the mag fade. The fade is it's spot on. Magnificent. There is no you. There, there will be no visible transition from light to dark, as you can see in those baby blankets. This would make a beautiful, beautiful baby blanket. Throw. Maybe I'll make one. One hundred percent micro polyester. Um, hand wash. Lay flat. Uh, I would consider it a number five weight. Now it is a chenille type yarn, so that's what it kind of looks like there. It's kind of like a solid strand with the. This might be one of those that if you make a mistake, it might be hard to pull out. And I don't, you can't quote me on that, but that's one of those yarns. But is it ever soft? As it seems, it seems like Elise, it would be that way. right? I was it. Softy plus bat batic, right? Batik. 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 It's beautiful. What's the yardage on this? 656 yards of a bulky five. $13.90. $13.90 for 656 yards of a bulky five chenille type yarn. Did you say it was a micro polyester? Yeah, that's more than the velvet. I mean, that's cheaper than velvet yarn um and more a lot more yardage um it's cheaper than premier parfait uh, it's but it's not really like those but it's a, a chenille i'm trying to think of those are the really only ones i mean it's not like those but it would be that that type of yarn i guess and, and it's really not a, soft. a velvety yarn like um, yeah it's not velvety where it's going to come apart like That is soft. It almost looks, looks glowy, doesn't it? It looks like a glow worm, yeah. Um, that's a that's nice. I like it. It's very pretty. I don't know if one would be enough to make a blanket. Um, 600 and some yards on it? 656? Probably uh, maybe, a, maybe a very simple baby blanket, but you probably would need to, would be my guess make a, a nicer baby blanket but i could be wrong i haven't been known to be wrong if you look at these on right here it looks like it's just one because there's no like where they yeah, it's just, added it's just two. one but how big are those those could only be maybe two by these could be three. towels yeah i guess they could be you know i wonder nice. if you could use this for towel it depends will this stuff come off on you like that let's try it out no, it seems like it's actually part of the solid strand. It doesn't anymore. really look like it's pulling, but is it like terry clothy enough to be a towel? It's kind of like it a terry, like a terry yeah. yarn, you know. Uh, yeah, that's what I would, but way softer than what I what I. It would definitely in the be States. a soft towel. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. That'd make a pretty towel. Well, that's Just it. Towel anyway, if you don't have so okay, that's now all. let's get back down to shipping. Now I have two boxes. Now shipping goes by what? how much you get i got a lot of yarn in two boxes i paid for shipping um 34 dollars and 89 cents 17 dollars a box 
free shipping. Mm -hmm. That is cheap from Lithuania to the U.S. in four days. That's the day I ordered, June 22nd, So it's 23rd, actually three days. The fourth, yeah. yeah. No. Two if you just count today, it came pretty No, no, early. no, no. Today's the 26th. Is it? In the 22nd, you ordered it. So if you ordered it on that day. So yeah, four days. Three and a half days because it came pretty early today. Four days. Whatever, four days, yeah, yes. Four. Um, so yeah, Listen to us trying to figure it out. <laughs> so I know a lot of you uh, don't like to pay shipping prices, and that's understandable. But I'm one of those that I don't, I don't really care about shipping because I know how much it is cost them more than that to ship this yarn. They are a smaller company and they don't get shipping rates like Michaels and Joann's. I said so 1750 a box I think is well decent sized box. Well worth it in my opinion. But that's only if you ask me. Only if you ask me. Who asked you anyway? <laughs> but that's it. So I'm very happy with with my purchase from from here, uh, um, Vilrita.com. Um, Limber, I'm not affiliated with them, but I will put a link below to their website. You can check them out. V I L V I L, then Rita R I T A. If I'm saying it right, I'm probably not. Sorry if you guys are watching, and um, <laughs> they're probably not. If you guys have watched before, then you know they're probably not that. watching or not. But just in case, I'm sorry if I said anything, <laughs> pronounce your name wrong. But yeah, check them out. Um, I, but remember the shipping is you know it is what it is I think it was a good deal for shipping myself considering how fast, fast it got here and yeah. it traveled from Lithuania right that's that right Lithuania yeah, yeah. Um, to to the states like I say I've waited like 10 14 days sometimes on Michael's yeah she does I hear about it yes I get I'm like what's going on I can get something from another country in three days but two I can't days, get something days. from Michael's it takes two weeks no Hey, things happen. Things happen, I understand. So I hope you enjoyed our video. So out, out of all these yarns, I always like to pick a favorite. And it's very hard for me to choose because yeah. there's so many new ones. I do have a few faves. Yeah, I know she really loves the ombre. Okay, so I love this one for the colors. And that it's a four weight and that it's nice. I'm gonna make a hat out of this for myself, that, definitely. What they made on there looks really cool. Oh yeah, that's neat, look at that. The stripes. Yeah, the colors are awesome. I like stuff like that. I like color control, though. That's not color control. See, I'm more chaotic. I he like is. Color He's chaos. not like me. I'm like color control. This one, I really, really like it a lot. Very, very nice. The Angora Naco Angora Lux colors are really getting me on that one. And uh, I just I just like it. And this one is, I don't know, I think it's the colors on that one. And the, and the way it looks like a puppy. It looks one of like those the, um, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I like that one. I should have got another one awesome. of these. I wish I would have got another one. Did you like these? Two I'll get another one. I like those two yes. because of the because of the ombre change. Um, but those oh, and I love the brown on this one. I don't like the way that it's a lightweight though. I'm not in the lightweight. I, I like love the one. ombre effects on these. The silky, are beautiful. I like the silkiness. Yes. The shine. Silky effects. That's cool. So, babes. Oh, I do love this one in the states, and it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking that, but. I like the, the way it transitions. I like to the ombre effect on it though a lot. So makes nice. it look like a big chewy piece of candy or something. So it's nice. Favorites are oh I love this mustard tweed with the flex. Oh. Just bring them all back up here. I love them all. <laughs> I love them all. It was a good haul, wasn't it? It was good. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um sorry if it got too long. Sorry if Mr. Bob became annoying. Yeah, I don't know. My bad, my bad. I'm just kidding. I'm just I'm lucky she had me on. Thanks, everybody. You know, I always appreciate you guys uh, taking time on your day and watching my videos. And I will catch you on my next video. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Hey, stay safe.